Good morning, SoFlo. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for watching. The Real Housewives of Miami have had one heck of an explosive season. The drama, the cars, the fashion, the parties. And we caught up with one of its breakout stars, Gertie Abrera, on location, who opened up about life after reality TV and why she is still a boss. <laughs> Congratulations on your first season of The Real Housewives of Miami. How has life been since becoming what what they're calling you online, the breakout star of the season? I mean, who are these people, really? I mean, I'm just one of the, the crew. You know, I don't see myself as a breakout star per se. I know I'm a character, but we all are for sure in our own right. So, I don't know. I mean, having all of your dreams come true, would you say that that's happening? I don't know if all my dreams have come true just yet. You know what I mean? A girl can keep dreaming, can she? So <laughs> Dream big, right? Oh, oh, yes. Aim small, miss small, right? So, so it's always something for me to always have a focus on what's next. And that's really been my motto. Um, until I know when that is the end, I'll let you know. But for now, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Last time we talked, you were very hush-hush about the season. We've seen the season now. Everything's yeah. come out. What has the response been from your fans and what are the good and the bad that comes with being a oh. unscripted television? We don't say reality TV anymore. It's That's a scripted right. television 100%. star. Yeah, I mean, most people are like cheering for me like, oh my gosh, such a great representation of, you know, our people, quote unquote, whether they be just, you know, African-American or Haitian or, or just girl power, women. So I love that I'm able to cross such an amazing spectrum of different constituencies, right? But the bad, in a sense, is kind of like the scrutiny behind it and just right. people, the opportunists. And uh, all of a sudden, your, your name is used for publicity's sake to get something, you know, louder. And so I've really kind of humbled myself to say, wow, be careful, be careful. You have to really watch who you, you know, you do business with, who you're around. Everything has a repercussion in some way, right. whether it be good or bad. And so for me, it's kind of been one where I have a lot to lose. And I think that people, you know, people know that. And so for me, it's really important to just kind of keep my nose down, do the work, but be careful of who's around you and what the intents are. How do you protect your privacy? I mean, you're a mother, you're, you're, you're a wife, your family comes first. I, to be honest, I mean, listen, for me, as much as a party girl, I, I, I'm literally, I, you know, <laughs> I not only plan the party, darling, I am the party. You are the party, darling. However, I am a homebody. As soon as that party is over, I'm home and it's a check, check, I'm, I check everything out at the door. I don't know the phone number to my, my home when it rings. I'm like, okay, must not know me. You know, this type of thing. I just keep it very simple. And uh, that's what keeps me going and my family unit strong. Yeah. When you got the call to be on one of the trendiest magazines, Retreat Magazine, which by the way, Nikki Hilton, Olivia Coppola, the list goes on and on of beautiful, no fantastic, pressure. powerful females. What did you think? No pressure. I'm like, damn it. Like, you know, I mean, listen, I don't come from a, 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 a industry of entertainment. I, I come from a, a service provided industry. So hospitality. And so for me, it was really kind of interesting taking that turn from behind the scenes, calling the shots, boom, boom, bring out the cake, da, da, da. So all of a sudden be like, ah, you are the message. You are the brand. You're the front force. You are the story. I am the story. And so for me, it's kind of like, wait, what, who me? You know, and it's like, I've modeled before, I've dibbled and dabbled and all that stuff, but I've always known, and my family was really hard and, and pushy on education first. No matter what, you will always have something to fall back on. So communication arts was my major, and I didn't speak English when I came to this country. So it was hard for me to kind of get along, but once I did, I, that was it. You know, so I found my place and the confidence came, and, and so now like, I talk with, uh, I talk like I know it all, you know well, what I mean? Well, you do, you're, you're, you're pretty unstoppable. <laughs> oh. You drip. <laughs> of success, Gertie Design. You are in You were in demand before yes. you were on the show. Now you're even more in demand yes. now. How mm -hmm. is business and how have you been able to elevate Gertie Design now that you have this platform where you have yeah. other women of color yes. that are in business? 100%. Right? Because that's the conversation is supporting supporting women-owned mm -hmm. businesses. How, yeah. have you, how have you been able to engage with them and how has business been for you? So for me, keynote is community over competition, period, end of story, full stop. I'm one of five girls. That's how I grew up. My mother told us all, girls, you're diamonds, you're my babies. Go out there and show the world what the, the level of, of, of success is in your own right. So that's what I know and that's all I've, I've lived through. So for me, empowering women is the number one thing that I know how to do well. You know, I, if I'm successful and I see someone who's down, hey, here's my hand, bring it up. I love to collaborate with women. I clap first before questioning later because it's always a, you know, we, we had it. We were always second best. 
And it's a fact to men, to everything else around us, the challenges are there. And then being a woman of color, that's another thing. And it can't be denied. Okay, let's not deny that. I never use it as a, a, a crutch for sure. It's never been in my vocabulary, but it's something in the back of your mind when, okay, maybe, you know. So for me, I just led by, I wanted to always lead by merit first. That was the, always my, my goal um, and the way I was brought up. And I, I think I'm doing a really good job at it. And an I just incredible job. hope that the little girl that's like, what she's doing this and she's where and that's the goal but business is great doing a lot of things it's all about pacing myself and making sure that the brand stays on brand in due time and so forth so uh yeah album dropping no <laughs> <laughs> single out next week <laughs> no we are no we are no singer for sure we like to definitely <laughs> seminars for sure why wouldn't right. why wouldn't i teach the other girls right. looking at me like wow how did you, how did you do it Here's how you do it. So we're gonna definitely open up some um, seminar options for people to really kind of gauge on how to be full-bodied in their elements, whether that, that wh whatever that is, you know. And so fashion is obviously something that's like inevitable in my life. My mother was always a fashion for a lady, and so for me, I think that there'll be some play in fashion for sure. Well, with that said, yeah. I mean, last season mm. and the conversation online and you know the blogs and just on social, people mm -hmm. were constantly talking about every single look that you served. Well, they I mean, loved. <laughs> the looks that I mean, you I serve. mean, I have a stylist for sure, so it's not just me, but it's a collaborative big time thing where I'm like, you know, what about this? No, 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 do you really think that? What about these shoes? And then she'll be like, nah, oh, okay, fine. You, you, yeah. So, you know, design is across the board. That's the good thing about, I think my brand is that I'm not only your planner, I'm also a designer. So coming from Fisher Island, owning, owning my own floor design company, I'm able to walk into a room and interior design it from in, inner, inside out. And so that, essence is able to go into different modes, whether it be fashion, culture, you know, whatever it is. So I got a lot of things on my mind, darling. You do <laughs> so, it, yeah. Like I said, you're booked and busy. Yes. You blessed. Talk, blessed, booked. booked and busy. Thank you. That's that a order. really good alliteration. We'll yes. take alliteration. Family mm. is so important to you. Yeah. You you constantly talk about being a mother, yep. being being a wife. You are always paying homage to the, your brother who you lost and also yes. children in, in Haiti. What would your brother be saying right now if he was with you on set? I think he's the actual zapper to giving me this energy and this zest to literally live my best life because he was the one when I was literally just like um, taking investment into my first, you know, big, big business opportunity on Fisher Island with the Flower Design Studio. He was the one that was like, I want to invest in your business. And I'm like, I don't do business with family. Like, and I shun him away. And then he passed and I'm like, and so just that, just that little note that he gave me to say, I believe in you, like you're the next big thing. I want to invest in you. That right there was literally like, the, when I realized I'm like, I'm unstoppable. This is it, this is it. Do, follow, like whatever he saw in you, believe it. And then I just, I just flew. I'm and sure. speaking of flying, to be honest, I'm gonna tell you something really special. Oh, exclusive. <laughs> every day, every day in my office, there's a little bird that taps on my window. Really? You think it's him? A hundred percent. Really? A hundred percent. That's awesome. Yeah. You do it all. What's next for you? The world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Take a moment. I'm just a big believer that the world is getting smaller by the minute and it's for me to to gain you know this kind of message across the globe so this is not an American message this is a global message you know like you spread the love you spread the positivity you work hard you know and just look around and don't be stuck never be put in a box and that's just me you're shattering molds they can never put Gertie or Bear in a box and I, as I said legions of women around the world not here in the United States but globally look yeah. to you as as a beacon of black yeah. excellence yeah and someone who's like hey I can get it done yeah. watch me do it watch me do it oh. <laughs> you make you <laughs> feel emotional. yeah thank you we see you okay like you're, you're awesome um <laughs> moments with Gertie what Barrera, is happening I know, <laughs> here on inside South Florida I, I'd expect to come here and cry and cry but guys Check her out. She's on the cover of the summer issue of Retreat Magazine. Jason Carter oh. here for Inside South Florida.